this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and uh, this week's harmonica lesson I am going to teach you how to play a bass line from a Sonny Boy Williamson song called Mighty Long Time. Um, so for this lesson you will need a C harmonica, we're playing in second position in the key of G. And uh, if you go and listen to the original song, this is actually quite interesting because the bass line isn't played on a harmonica. It's not even played on a bass guitar. It's actually sung by someone. So someone is singing the, the bass line. They're doing a kind of do, 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 do. But I thought it would be a really cool exercise to, to do it on the harmonica. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So before I show you how to play it, I'll just quickly play you through the full 12 bars so you can hear what it's going to sound like. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's going to be quite straightforward to learn because once you've learned the pattern for one chord, then you can apply it to all the chords. There's no turnaround, so it's the same thing over and over all the way through. So your first uh, line to learn is the one chord pattern, which sounds like this. Okay, so we're starting on a two draw on beat one. And then on the offbeat after beat two, we're going to hit a three draw. We'll hit a four draw on beat three, and then we'll hit a three draw on beat four, and then four draw on the offbeat. So it. Okay, and try and be kind of kind of lazy and swingy with your feel, because that's what makes this sound really really cool. So let's try that nice and slowly together, and I'm going to loop it round because it's a bass line after all. So one. Two, three, four. Okay, so that is where we'd move on to the next lick, which is going to be the four chord bass line, which will sound like this. One, two, three. So exactly the same rhythm as the one chord lick, we're just playing different notes to follow the chords. So we're starting on the one blow, and then we're going to do two blow, three blow, two blow, three blow. A little side note, a lot of you will know that I'm really anti people playing the three blow, but I always think that it makes sense to play the three blow over the four chord in this kind of situation because what you're effectively doing by playing this uh, bass line, you're actually changing position to play first position over the four chord. And I think that switch makes a lot of sense if in your mind you're also switching from the draw note over the one chord to the blow note over the four chord. Uh, but that's just a little aside and if that's a little bit over your head right now, don't worry about it. Just learn the bass line, it's cool. So one blow, two blow, three blow, two blow, three blow. So let's try that together nice and slowly. We're gonna play it twice. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll go back to the one chord. Okay, now we've got one more to learn, and that's the five chord. So the five chord is going to be a little bit trickier because we've got some bends, uh, but they're really useful to learn. So we've got one draw on beat one, and then we're going to go to the two draw half step bend, three draw whole step bend, then two draw half step bend, three draw whole step bend. So that will be. Okay, so let's try that together nice and slowly. We'll just play that once. So one, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. 
Okay, so the problem with learning baselines generally is that if you learn it from bar one to bar 12, you're gonna end up practicing the one chord bass line a ton and then the five chord bass line very little. So the way that I practice bass lines is instead of learning it from bar one and playing it through to bar 12, I tend to just play the last four bars. That means I'm starting on the five chord, then I play the four chord, and then I play the one chord. So that's how I suggest we practice doing that now. So we're gonna start on the five chord, then we'll move to the four chord, then we'll move to the one chord. One, two, Okay, so that is your full bass line for the 12 bar blues. Um, once you've learned it, one really, really useful application of this is you have just learnt the basic chord arpeggios for the one, four, and five chords. So what's a chord arpeggio? Well, the one chord, uh, as you know, has multiple notes in it, and playing an arpeggio is just playing each note in the chord separately. So in, in any chord, uh, your most basic chord, there are three notes. We have a root note, a third, and a fifth. And if it's a major chord, it's a major third. If it's a minor chord, it's a minor third. Now for, for most of our blues, it's major. Uh, so we have root, third, and fifth. And what we quite often do is we add something called a flat seventh. We're not doing that right now. At the moment, we're just playing root, third, and fifth. And that's what you have in that bass line that phrase is just root. Third, fifth, third, fifth, right? So that means that you've learned the chord arpeggio for all of the chords in the 12 bar blues. Now, why is that useful? Well, for starters, it makes learning a bass line really, really easy um, because most bass lines are going to use the arpeggio uh, with maybe one or two additional notes, but the arpeggio is going to be a really important part of it. But it's also really, really useful to give you some target notes when you're improvising. So you probably can improvise using just the root notes. So two draw over the one chord, one blow or four blow over the four chord, one draw or four draw over the five chord. But now you've got three notes to choose from for each chord. And that's pretty cool. It means that you can uh, make changes that are a little bit more subtle rather than just saying, right. So instead of kind of going two draw for one chord, four blow for four chord, we can do a change that's a little bit more subtle and play something a little bit more like that, like this even. So instead of me jumping around from two up to the, the four hole, I'm staying around the two hole. So that meant that over the four chord, I ended up playing a two blow over the five chord. I ended up playing the two draw half step bend. Just, it makes it a little bit more interesting for your improvisation. Anyway, thank you so much for, for bearing with me on that. That was a little bit of theory slipped in there. Um, if you want to download the tab and audio clips of, uh, of this lesson, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below and that will take you to my website where you can input your email address and I will send all that stuff out to you free of charge. Uh, but before you do that, you can do a very small thing for me very quickly. Give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then what are you doing? You gotta subscribe to my channel. Uh, 
That is, if you want to be kept up to date of the harmonica video that comes out every single Wednesday, right here. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week. Happy harping!